Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. I'm Al Roker. I'm here with Equal Man. Eric Coleman is a Forbes Top 50 influencer, entertaining audiences around the world, educating them on digital leadership, and empowering millions. Often called the Digital Dale Carnegie, Eric Qualman inspires and motivates audiences around the world into becoming digital leaders. Sold out crowds eagerly learn the latest in digital leadership, digital reputation, and digital trends. You will become disruptive rather than the disruptive. You will become digital leaders. Eric spawned the socialnomics movement with his number one international bestseller of the same name. His socialnomics work has been featured from leading media from 60 Minutes to the Wall Street Journal. His book, Digital Leader, voted Eric the second most likable author in the world after Harry Potter's J.K. Rowling. Word of mouth is now world of mouth. You cannot replace face-to-face. -face. These tools are there and designed to augment face-to-face -face when time and distance are an issue. Turns out the research, we can't multitask. As human beings, we're not computers. Our brain doesn't parallel process items. We're actually switching tasks. In the moment that we're quote-unquote multitasking, our IQ drops 15 points, which as my dad would say, son, you went to a state school. That's a high percentage of your IQ. Uno, dos, y tres. The more important piece, and is why online ratings and reviews are so important, is your digital shadow. That's what other people post about you online. So a lot of people I talk to is like, that's why I'm not even on the grid. I'm completely off the grid. Well, it doesn't matter. If you're off the grid, 92% of children under the age of two have a digital stamp. Because someone asked, what's the social play? What's the mobile play? Our clients and customers are telling us, hey, we love what you're doing here. Are you doing more of that today? Now, historically, no matter what business you are or what business you're invested in, your best customers, your best clients have always come from word of mouth. And that's happened for hundreds of years. The major shift today is now word of mouth is at scale. Because when you think about it, we live in a Jetsons era. When you can actually have a video phone conversation off your watch, we are living in the Jetsons era. But the leaders that we interviewed all understood the combination of acting like the Jetsons and acting like the Flintstones. Now what we saw with companies that were unsuccessful is if this is the line of digital leadership, they either just took a baby step, they didn't take too big a step, or they took way too big a step over here and they weren't human anymore. And we need to always ask ourselves this question, what's the one thing if I do it well, we either make everything easier or not necessary? Pioneers get pushback. That that's a signal, and a lot of you in this room are pioneers, that pushback can be frustrating because people won't get it right away, but that's a signal you're actually pioneering. You need to get uncomfortable when you're comfortable. That's when you're about to get disrupted. It's when you're getting that pushback, that's a signal that you're actually pioneering. How many of you, by a show of hands, have read any of these three books? Have you read Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, Good to Great, or The Tipping Point? Yeah, about 95% of the room have read one of those books. Fantastic books, fantastic books. All three of them were written before YouTube existed and before Facebook existed. It's not about adding stuff, it's about taking it away. How many of you have to-do lists? Yeah, most of us have that. How many of you have a not to-do list? Yeah, only about 5%. But it's actually more important to have a not to-do list, a not yet list. And that list should be 10 times longer than your to-do list. It's all about actually not being perfect. It's about failing fast, failing forward, failing better. It's really about being flossom. And most importantly, understanding that technology changes every second, but humanity never does. Human nature never does. Okay, A's for action. Probably the number one term that's been brought up in terms of grinding, hustle. Nothing happens without action and attitude. And so when we look at this, it's very simple to fall into what's called a throughput trap. We're texting, we're, or our teams are, we're texting, we're tweeting, Here? we're emailing. We're working um, hard, but at the end of the day, we haven't produced any of the output that we want. So for you, it might be you're a fashion designer. Are you actually writing designs? Are you designing dresses? For someone else in the audience, it might be that you want to become the best YouTube star of all time. Are you producing a video each day? Are you getting 
to that output. You guys have been great. Most importantly, thanks for standing ovation. I appreciate it. Thank you.